There's a very clever company out in Germany called Festo. We've been there a few times over the past few years, and uh, they do incredible things with robots. Their work is all about imitating nature, so they create robots that act and behave just like real animals, and they're beautiful. For example, take a look at these here, and a group of robot jellyfish. They work together as a shoal, so they even interact with each other. When I visited Festo a couple of years ago, I took a dip in the pool with some penguins. Robot aut uh, autonomous robotic penguins, do apologize. We had a great afternoon swimming. They were able to tell where I was in the pool, no collisions at all. And if you came into the super theater a couple of years ago, you'd have seen the flying penguins welcoming you into the auditorium. Great stuff. Now, a few months ago, I was the third gadget show presenter to visit Festo in Germany, and this is what I saw. May I introduce Festo Smartbird. They believe that this is the closest that they have ever come to creating a robot like the real animal that they're imitating. It's got a carbon fibre frame, so it's exceptionally lightweight, but very, very rigid, and weighs only about 450 grams. It's based on uh, the herring gull. It has a wingspan of two metres and a motor that kicks out 23 watts. That's all it takes. Watch your head. <laughs> Isn't it absolutely stunning? It's one of the most aerodynamic robots they've created, and it is also one of the most energy efficient. <laughs> However, one of the hardest things about the robot is landing it. So, should we see whether or not we can land it? All right. Right, put your hands on your heads, guys. I don't know where it's going to go. Yeah! <laughs> well done, Sally. Yeah. Um, I actually want to show you the priorities of this robot, and I will tell you um, it looks fairly simple, the mechanism, but it's quite complex. Um, as you can see straight away, the most obvious thing is its carbon fibre frame. Here's the motor, if you don't mind twisting it for me. Now, the special thing about the smart bird is the wings don't just move up and down. Because of an active articulated functional drive and a complex control system, it gives angles on the uplift a positive angle of attack, which means that the bird's wings can also twist as well as flap up and down. That way it gets the perfect flight and is able to glide just like the real herring girl. Isn't it incredible? Yeah. In fact, shall we see if we can have another look at it, gentlemen? Would you mind letting it free? Remember, get your cameras out if you want to get a photo of this. What you're looking at is actually an autonomous robot. And on the second version that they created compared to the model we just saw, they did add the neck joints and also the tail joints so that it can fly left and right and have exactly the same flight movement as a heron gull. Let's bring it back into land. Watch head. Nice. <laughs> 